Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request we have from Benjamin Vogt. Hey Cap, valued viewer request. Can you reduce your takeoff length by having zero degrees flaps at the start of the runway but deploy the full flaps near rotation speed? How does this compare with no flaps and full flaps during the full takeoff length? I think myself and Benjamin Vogue would get on well and we can go out for a pint one day, Simba, or a litre or whatever you have over there. Because this is the kind of thing I think about, I find really interesting, some basic, simple little aerodynamic questions. What he's saying is, if we run this A10 down the length of the runway with the flaps at full deployment all the way, let's just pretend for sake of argument you use full landing flaps, just to exacerbate this question to take off. I know you don't, but let's just pretend that you do. Will it take off in a longer distance than if you did the whole beginning run with no flaps and put the flaps down just at the very last moment before you rotate. The hypothesis of course being that flaps cause aerodynamic drag. So if the flaps are not deployed for 90% of the run, then the aircraft will accelerate quicker. If an aircraft accelerates quicker, it will get to the rotation speed in less distance. So in my mind, yes, I think that will work. However, Actually putting things like this into practice is never quite that easy, Simba. My thoughts are, if we're going to do this, we have to try and really exacerbate the difference between the two setups as much as possible. And the best way we thought of doing that is get the heaviest puny engine aircraft that we can think. Yes, everyone gets annoyed. But the A-10 is loaded up here to 133% over max takeoff weight. It's horrendously overweight. And the engines, compared to an F-18 or an F-16 or something like that, are not very powerful. This is going to exacerbate any delta distance that we find in the two methods as much as we can. As well as that, heffing great flaps. The bigger the flaps, the more we're going to increase the difference. Anything to add to that Simba? It'll be interesting with this, this engine, this flap setup. Now we've done lots of these scientific measurements now and the best thing to do is remove any possibility for human error as much as possible. So, in the two methods we're not going to be rotating. Rotating an aircraft is very dynamic. It's very hard to rotate twice exactly the same in a scientific way. So, the method is going to be thus. First, we're going to take this aircraft, we're going to apply full flaps, and we're going to find out what its natural rotation speed is. Or should I say it's natural takeoff speed that's going to be the easiest thing to measure so like we're doing here we're going to go down the runway we're going to rotate naturally up to about 10 or 12 degrees or whatever it is and then when the wheels leave the ground which is happens to be right here we measure the speed from the game engine we've got 165 knots well between friends why don't we just make that 170 170 knots we're now going to go and do a power run in both methods up to 170 knots but we're not actually going to be rotating because that would pollute the science a little bit with Flaps fully deployed on the first run, and we stop the game engine at exactly 170 knots. And then, without flaps deployed, and we'll just deploy them at an agreed amount, say 140, something like that. Right, sorry, that's a lot of talking, but I just want to explain exactly how we do this, and how we're going to ensure that we can make it as accurately as human possible. And just to make it super simple, I'm just going to go hold full throttle. Simple as that. Remember, time doesn't matter here, it's just about the distance, the acceleration, that's all that matters here. Try and keep it straight, obviously, with the pedals. <laughs> Not like that. Oh, I've got nose wheel steering on, that'll be white. Turn that off. Now, to make it accurate, I am gonna slow time down shortly. God, it's so slow. So we're now on half speed, and my aim is to stop it at exactly 170 knots. If we make it that far, which we may not. She naturally, she's naturally wanting to rotate at this point, her uh, nose is starting to go up. So that is a good safe, safe rotation speed. That is 170 knots on the nose, with flaps down all the time. So, let's measure from exactly here. And annoyingly, it's done it in nautical miles, but that's as accurate as I can get it. At 1.37 nautical miles, Simba. Next, let's do it with the flaps only coming down at the last minute. Flaps up. And again, time is not important here, per se. I know uh, time is a element of acceleration, but you know what I mean. 
so the only difference is the in the uh, induced drag by those flaps that will affect the acceleration in theory so if I start putting the flaps down at say about 140 and I'll do it in slow motion so I can get it just spot on start slowing down time here you know my brain it doesn't work very well these days it takes about two seconds to deploy the flaps from memory okay flaps gonna I'll start pounding that flap button wow they deployed super quick I am just gonna go and pause fully pause that now and double check the flaps are no that's them they're done so from 140 to 170 they're going to be fully deployed now as far as I'm aware drag is going to go up essentially quadratically with speed or thereabouts so we're kind of diluting our results a little bit by doing the flaps so early we can probably run it back again and deploy them at 160 maybe she wants to rotate naturally now which is fine but we're going to stick with it there 170 knots so it was 1.37 now it's 1.33 look at that Simba look at that don't you love it when science works for you right we can even do it a slightly better now uh why don't we do it putting flaps down just at the last you know fraction of a second okay whoops we're just hitting 160 now let's start banging those flaps down you can see they're coming down super quick they're half down by 165 they're fully down indicated i've just burst a tire i've just burst a tire that's interesting Okay, but look, we're even quicker. I know we're burst a tire, and that will affect the results slightly. But putting the flaps down at only 160 knots, we're down to 1.3 nautical miles, so it does make a big difference. Let's optimize it even better, shall we? This time, put the flaps down at 165. Let's get super nerdy on this. Wait, 165. Flap down. Flaps down. We're going to do it. Flaps off. Fully down at 170. Woo! Oh, and it's even more efficient. God, this is good science. 1.27. 1.27 nautical miles. So the delta there, 1.27 to 1.37, is 0.1 nautical miles difference. Guys, can I get that in feet, please? 0.1 nautical miles. Okay, 0.1 is 600 feet. So that is a delta difference of about 600 feet. So let's just strip that right back to the bone. This A10, in exactly the same configuration, using the two different techniques, can save... 600 feet of runway just by putting the flaps down later on 600 feet is a lot of runway i think you'll agree you go measure out or run 600 feet you'll certainly be feeling it so we've proven that indeed the hypothesis is correct if you only put your flaps down at the very last minute you can save a whole load of runway at what we would consider the best case of about 0.1 nautical miles or 600 feet i hope you enjoy that and see you later